Hi guys. So in the previous lecture we saw what it means to have a risk neutral measure. So we said that if we have a risk neutral measure given by P tilde, then under this measure the discounted value of the stock was a martingale. The discounted value of the stock is given by dt times st. This was a martingale under P tilde. And if we constructed a portfolio that invested money and stock in the money market account, then the discounted value of the portfolio, which is given by dt times xt, was also a martingale under p tilde. Okay? And if the discounted value of the portfolio was a martingale, then we said the model did not have any arbitrage. Right? So now, one thing to notice is in the previous lectures, we, when we talked about the stock process or, or, or the stock, the stock basically did not pay any dividend, okay? So today we wanna to develop theory on stocks which paid some dividend, okay? So first what we're going to do is we're gonna develop theory for stocks that pay continuous dividend, okay? So let's assume that this stock basically pays a continuous uh, dividend at the rate of 80 per unit time, okay? So this is the rate of dividend paid by the stock per unit time. And we wanna look at what, how does the stock process basically evolves. So we know that if basically stock is modeled as a geometric ground in motion, then the evolution of the stock process can be given by alpha t, st, dt, plus sigma t, st, d, w, t, right? This was the case for a non-dividend paying stock. But because our stock basically pays continuous dividend, Whenever a stock basically pays some dividend, the value of the stock goes down by the dividend amount, okay? Since the stock is paying dividend at the rate of 80 per unit time, the stock would go down by 80 times st dt, okay? So this is the evolution of the stock process when the stock is paying continuous dividend. Okay, so this is what we what we're gonna get for the stock process. Now, like before, we're gonna construct a portfolio of a dividend paying stock and a money market account. So let's assume that we have some money XT, okay? And what we're going to do is, we're gonna buy delta T amount of stock, okay? And so if you buy delta T amount of stock, we're gonna use delta T times ST amount of money, okay? And the remaining money, XT minus delta T ST, we're gonna invest in money market account, just like before, okay? The only difference now is gonna be, if we wanna look at what are the change in the value of the portfolio, the change in the value of the portfolio is given, gonna be driven by change in the value of the stock, um, the amount of interest that we're gonna accrue on our, in our money market account, and then there's gonna be a third term, which is gonna be the dividend that's paid by the stock. Okay, so that's an additional term we're gonna have. So let's basically write, write, write it down. The change in the value of the portfolio is gonna be given by changes in the value of the stock, which is D of ST, right? And we, we had delta T amount of stock. So this basically is a change coming from a position in the stock. Then we were having this much money in the money market account. which is gonna accrue interest at the rate of RT DT, just like before, right? So we're gonna get this much amount of interest. And then finally, we're gonna get some uh, dividend. Now we were holding delta T amount of stock, and each stock basically pays this much amount of dividend. So this would be, th there is a plus here because the, we're gonna get a dividend. Okay, here it was a minus because the stock went down by the dividend amount. Okay, so that basically is the difference. And here we will have AT times ST DT, right? So these two terms we are already familiar with, change in the value of the stock, and this is the amount of money that we get from a money market account. This is the third new term that basically comes from the amount of dividend that we get from the stock, okay? Now what we can do is we can actually solve this further. D of ST is basically given right here. So we can substitute the value into this equation. So now D of XT is gonna be given by delta T 
and instead of d of st i'm going to rewrite this now here i'm going to just simplify it it's going to be alpha t minus a t s t d t all i've done is i basically combine these two terms together and then i have sigma t s t d w t right that basically is my d of st then i'm going to have this let me actually multiply the terms and i'm going to get xt times rt dt minus delta t st rt dt okay and then finally i have this term which is delta t times a t times s t d t okay now here i have uh, delta t a t okay so i have delta t a t s t d t here and i have a minus delta t a t s t d t here so this term and this basically cancels out and i'm left with delta t alpha t s t d t okay then i have delta t sigma t s t d w t okay then i have x t r t d t and finally delta t s t r t d t okay so here i can rewrite this as x t r t d t which is this term i'm rewriting it here i'm going to combine these two d t terms so here i can write them as delta t st i have delta t st here delta t st here as well so i can write this as delta t st mul multiplies alpha t minus r t dt this basically takes care of these two terms finally i'm left with the dw term which i'm going to write here delta t sigma t st dw t right now what I can do is